Hello there. So today, after starting filming in July, we finally wrapped on Project Library. It's a funny thing because for you guys it probably seems like it's only been around for about a month, so it's just been conceived and it's kind of just come together, but actually it's a process that began two years ago. It's not really my story to tell, I mean don't get me wrong, it's a great story and it should definitely be put into some form of making of documentary if anyone wants to give that a go. But I'll do my best within this vlog to kind of give you a sort of shorthand, my perspective version. Basically, after working for about a year on the idea of an action movie set in a library, Tim came to me and said he'd be interested in auditioning me for the lead role. Then he cast me in his short university film, which acted as a kind of pilot for what had become a web series. That was called The Alarm, and you can see that on the multiverse right there. I always feel like a real phony doing this because there's nothing there. It's just... it's air. See? Anyway, we started auditioning and I worked with various Jasons and Rachels in what was quite a lengthy audition process, and in the end Tim gave me a call and said he wanted me to play Michael Foster, and that led to quite simply one of the best summers I have ever had. The Project Library crew was made up of some of the most dedicated, talented, hard-working, diligent individuals I have ever had the good fortune to come across. Every single member of the crew on that set was there because they wanted to contribute everything they had to make the best project possible. And there were no egos on set. Everyone was there to do the best job that they could for the good of the project. Sometimes we like to hurt Jack Howard's eyes on purpose. Dickhead! You were dickhead. It was all about working on something that we were just passionate about, and it created the best possible environment. For me, it was also kind of a dream come true, because when you go from a university studying practical filmmaking to the YouTube world, where there should be a theme tune and it should be sisters are doing it for themselves, because everyone has their fingers in various different pies, uh, that is the phrase, right? I really hope so. People just take on various different roles by themselves. You're talking three or four different ones per project. So you can be working the camera, but then you've got to jump in front of the camera to perform, but you've also got to keep an eye out for the editing and make sure that sound is running at the same time. There's, there's a lot going on. On this project, the crew was made up of so many of us that for once we could stop being generalists and we were able to specialise on what it was that we were bringing to that project. And for me, that meant I could put all my focus and effort purely onto my acting and hopefully giving the best performance that I possibly could, which I'd like to think I've done. Now there's still two episodes of Library to Go and in my opinion this is a kind of series that just gets stronger and stronger with each instalment. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think that this project has the potential to really change the way people view YouTube and the content that is consumed through that platform. I don't want to speak for everyone, but I'm so personally grateful for the positive response and some of the more critical responses that this project is getting, and also for the fact that the hard work and dedication of every single member of this incredible crew is being recognised. All that's left for me to say is enjoy the last two episodes, I bloody know I will, and I'll see you next Monday with a brand new video. Also, this weekend I'm going to be at the MCM Expo for the first time in my life. I'm excited but also a little bit terrified because I've got no idea what to expect. So if at some point you see me kind of wandering around, just just swerve me and prod me in the right direction. That'd be really kind of you. I'll see you there.